Hey everyone, we're back on the 671. Um, we just did the setting the, the gap inside the governor. Next is setting all the injector racks. I've already loosened up every one of these screws. Just back them out about three or four rounds if you're starting over. If you have took the rack tube out to replace an injector or two, and you put it back in and it's really stiff and doesn't want to rotate just take a small hammer or a screwdriver handle or something and you're not going to hurt this just just give her a few taps those self-lining bearings on the ends where the stands are they get bound up and give them a few good shocks like that just loosens it right back up but, uh, so, buffer screws backed way out. With one hand, you're gonna set it in full throttle. And on the, the first injector, you're gonna run the inside screw in. And while you're doing that, I've already pulled the cotter pin out of here, but you'll notice the feel of this. It's really easy to slide back and forth. When you get to the end of the travel on the injector rack down there, that will change and you know that's when you stop after you see the the rack roll up then go come over here and feel your drag on your pen back and forth not, not rotation but back and forth when you feel that change from that really smooth motion to a kind of a sticky motion stop on that screw come over here and and just barely snug it up Keep your eye on the rack down there, watch it, it'll it'll keep rolling on you. And just keep tightening back and forth, back and forth a little bit, maybe that much at a time. I mean just, just a little bit. And keep keep checking this. If you feel this get really loose again like this, that means you went too far on this guy. Come back to this guy and snug him up a little bit. Come back over here and check this again. When you get both of those tied on this first one. What I like to do, you can get a better feel for this, is just go ahead and pull this pin, get this guy out of the way. Set your pin down where you won't lose it. Take my strips off. And hook your vice grips up on this, this side of the stand. Enough to where you can get full travel out of it and not hit your water manifold back there. If you come over here in the middle of the tube and put your vice grips on this and you push over, what a lot of people don't realize is whenever you get all the way over, unless you've got perfect, perfect steady hands, you're putting tension on this rack tube back this direction and it will throw off the rest of it because your tube's not straight anymore. Been there, done that. So come over here and and put it on your clevis that way you don't get any flex in your tube and uh, with this old style rack this you can do this one-handed so you keep one hand on the vice grips just not a huge amount but just keep it over there and then you can run the screws with your other hand and keep checking it as you go down the line with the new style racks, you're gonna need gonna need to uh, put a, a light bungee strap on your vice grips and, and just suck it over to something, but don't put a lot of tension on it, just to where it stops. But that's uh, that's it for this. I'm I'm not gonna film doing that. That's a long process on a on a six like this. Sometimes sometimes they fall right together. Sometimes you fight them. But what you're looking for is even racks going in and bottom and out. And you might be confused when I keep saying racks, but uh, that's what a lot of people get wrong on these. This is not a rack. This is a rack tube. Let's see if we got light here. What those, uh, those tube fingers are going down into that clevis. That is your rack. So when you're setting your racks, they all have to be the same. 
Thanks for watching. Be back again someday.